Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today we're gonna to take a look at Southern Lands. But before that, this video is brought to you by Northern Farm Sim and Matthew Young. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Southern Lands map can be found over at the farmingsimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Now let me read you some of the description. Terras de Sol map is based on the southern region of Brazil, where the focus is on soybeans, corn, and rice with flat human lands as far as the eye can see. And also because the region has a lot of livestock, the map has 63 crops of different sizes. No, 63 fields of different sizes. That, that was not properly translated. There are two cereal cell points, a market, animal, and bale cell point, cotton and wool cell point, sugar factory, cereal mill, gas station, two workshops, one gas station, and one store, okay? Sawmill, rice mill factory, and it's possible to plant eucalyptus, a variety of wood used in Brazil for timber extraction. In addition, there are three new crops in black beans and two varieties of rice, and the possibility of harvesting up to two crops per year, taking advantage of the Brazils of Brazilian tropical climate, where it's possible to produce crops throughout the year. Alternating between crops, this map has 13 farms pre-placed, and there are also fields that are set up with irrigation for the rice. Now, this map does have several required mods. They are the BR Small Shed, Granger Silo, Old Brazilian House, South Brazilian Warehouse, Ranch Silo, Margo, yeah, uh, Farmhouse, Southern Brazil Woodhouse, Jan Tanker Pack, Wooden Shed, Southern Shed, and BR Small Wood Shed Pack. Now, in addition to those required mods, we are going to be using the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food or review. Field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. I will tell you, if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, you'll find all the farms are built out exactly how you see them here in new farm mode. In addition, the main starting farm does have farm machinery in all game modes. Lastly, if you do play this system on a low end computer, you should have no issues whatsoever in maintaining a nice solid 60 frames per second as I was having no issues in doing that on my test system which uses AMD integrated graphics. Now when you load here for the first time you do start on the map here at a church location. I just wanted to see if I could open the door and try to actually open the door up until this point. And let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. Now you see the predominant Fields on this map are going to be rectangular in shape, a couple of very narrow and long fields, and several of these areas are going to be floodable for the use of rice. Go ahead and take a look at our farmland screen. You see, we start up owning farmland ID 59, that is the main starting farm, as well as farmland ID 60, which is split up into four floodable fields. We do have all the standard crops available to us in FS22 on this map. In addition, we have black bean, rice, sown rice, which are the three new added crops. And if you have the premium expansion enabled, well, you also have your red beets, carrots, and parsnips. Now, there is a massive laundry list of other farms here. I believe the description said 13 or 18, and I have to say, I agree. It's a lot. So I'm going to try to not miss any, but it's going to be a little bit hard. So we talked about the main starting farm. Farm ID 59. In any alternate game mode, you can buy that for $83,216. In addition, there are other arable farms at Farmland ID 47, 23, 38, 54. And these are somewhat in the order that I found them and not really in the order that they are on the map. Farmland ID 1. Farmland ID 19, Farmland ID 26, Farmland ID 25, Farmland ID 29. 
located right there. Then there are also cow pastures located at farmland ID 53. And this is one massive floatable area. You can sell the cow pasture down here if you don't want cows walking around in your flooded field. Farmland ID 65. There is a bee and cow farm at farmland ID 8. There's also a cow farm at farmland ID 66. There's also a sheep farm at farmland ID 45. There is a pig farm at farmland ID 10. And that should be most of the viable farmlands. Most. But we'll probably find more when we get around to our fly around. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any fields, what fields are included. Then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? Now we take a look at our field calculator screen. This is going to break down the specific sizes of the fields. You see we have fields that range anywhere from one hectare, less than one hectare. Then we have some larger fields, 18.28 hectares in size right there, 15.86. We do have a South American crop counter here because we are starting in February as opposed to August. See we have our custom growth for black bean, rice, and sown rice. With respect to our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our basic crops available to us in FS22, as well as our animal outputs of eggs, wool, and milk, and our silage, hay, straw, and grass. As we continue down through all of the basic game production items, we once again do indeed have the ability to sell all of those items as well. One thing we do not have the ability to do, though, is to buy bulk lime, nor do we have the ability to get rid of our stones. So if you do play with stones enabled, you will need to put down your own stone sell point. Now, with respect to additional crops and productions, well, we're going to have the ability to do husk rice, black bean, packaged rice, white rice, aged cheese. Then we have our new crops of rice and sown rice. With respect to our farm production pack, we do not have the ability to sell any of our washed root crops. Interesting enough, though, we do have the ability to sell all of our platinum expansion production items. So while I really don't think there's a whole lot of forestry, going on with this map. We do have the ability to sell our platinum expansion productions as well as our premium expansion productions and crops. With respect to pumps and hoses, we do have the ability of getting rid of our separated manure and we also have our ability of getting rid of our hay and straw pellets as well. As far as our starting fleet goes, we started with a decent listing of starting machinery. It is all owned and none of it is leased. We do not have any animals at the start, although some of the animal areas on this map are pre-populated and once you buy them you will have access to use those we do have contracts available on this map we do not own any other production chains and this map does have the 100 elm creek collectibles with respect to our starting fleet we start with a case magnum 340 cvx drive actually a pair of those tractors and then we have the case axle flow 7150 harvester we have the jan tanker 15 and the Jan Tanker 10 500. And then we have access to the 3020 Terraflex 25 foot grain header. And do note that it is set up for both rice and then the black beans as well. Now, with respect to putting our rice in the ground, well, we're going to be able to do that with a standard seeder. As you can see, all the seeders here are going to work with our two forms of rice and our new crop of black beans as well. As far as mods and DLCs, while the map does have the custom tree saplings, according to the description, it's eucalyptus. We also then have the Jan Tanker Pack, which is going to have three different tankers here, which are basically going to be auger wagons. Now, I have to first address what I feel is kind of the elephant in a room here. <clears throat> and that is today, we had two South American maps drop, both with rice both with a custom palette of trees. And I've got to think, are these guys friends? Did they like have a say, hey, let's see who can build the best South American map that has rice and custom trees? Because that's what it feels like. 
And if that's the case, I'll, I'll just jump to the chase. This map's one. Okay? This map's better than the other one that we just did a video on. But go ahead, finish watch the video, and then tell me if you agree down in the comments below. Now, just to make things a lot easier, I went ahead and bought all the farmlands on the map. And bam, you can really see now all these hotspots popping up here. All those various farmhouses. We've got a farmhouse up here. We've got, this is not a usable chicken pen. This is a deco chicken farm. But since we went ahead and bought the entirety of the map, we also bought some land that typically you wouldn't be buying because it's $1.1 million. But at any rate, that's going to be the unbuyable land. We have then some production up here. We have that farm there. We have a farm here. We've got another farm, 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 farm. There's lots of farms if you haven't figured it out. And that's what we're going to jump into right now. So let's just tab over real quick to our starting farm location. Again, this is farmland ID 49. Most of the farms are going to have a scale house. Apparently I'm weightless. We have our harvester. We have a couple of our auger wagons here. We have our two tractors. And if I recall right, that's the entirety of our starting fleet. We've got at some of the various farms, we have this earthen ramp. We have two farmhouses right here, back to back. And all of these farmhouses are sellable. Everything on pretty much all the farms is gonna be sellable, with a few minor exceptions. So we have our sleep trigger, or wardrobe trigger. And you kinda of get to pick which farmhouse do you want. Do you want that one? Do you want this one? Or do you want the color, colorful one, which is over here? Three farmhouses, all three are interable. And therefore all three are gonna have sleep triggers within. This is also gonna be our farm silo. We have our dump and fill pipe. And that is the initial starting farm. Now I'm thinking I just totally skipped over our precision farming soil map. So let's go and take a look at that. This map is making use of the generic soil map. So let's go and see how that is being applied to these fields. Now with so much of this map being fields, we really do get a nice clear picture of the generic soil map that is a part of the precision farming mod. See a lot of the fields here to the south are going to be a swath of silty clay loam and sandy loam. To the immediate north of the starting farm, we've got a lot of loamy sand and sandy loam. And again, the addition of silty clay is going to make its way up here to the north, as well as to the extreme east and west. As I mentioned, here at this starting farm and pretty much every other farm that is available on the map, we do have the ability of pretty much getting rid of all of the structures. So we are gonna give the map a full point with respect to the ability to customize all of the farms. Now where we have floodable fields, you're gonna find triggers right beside those fields. And if you click, you're gonna see a little bit of animation. On this map, we've got a bag that closes the area off, and then the field drains pretty darn quick. When we click again, bag will raise up. And when it does, then the field becomes flooded. You'll find the trigger to flood this field over here. We're going to flood these right there, this time with pipes. So just look for various triggers, and you will have to own the farmland in order to likely flood a lot of these fields. 
Now, I've gone ahead and bought all of the farmland on the map in order to show you where all of the um, where all the farms are. So you got the general gist of that. <clears throat> and I think what we'll do is maybe start here with respect to our other farm areas. We're kind of going to do two fly arounds on the map. One fly around with respect to farmlands, and then a second fly around with respect to production and sell points. So we have a cow pasture located right here, and we have our cow drop-off point. And this cow pasture already had 30 cows in it, and we can store a total of 100. We have our food trough, our water trough, and this is where we're going to draw out our milk. Now this is very close to what I'm calling the cow and bee farm because this farm does have several beehives. There are cows over there. One of our beehives is right here at the entryway. So we have a silage bunker. We have our milk trigger, our food trough, our straw trough, our straw trigger, I'll say. And then this cow pasture has 25 of 120 cows. And then also at this farm, we have another silo. We have a fuel point. And a ramp. We have our farmhouse. And then we have our, our pallet for our honey. Trying to recall where it was when I was deleting all this stuff. There it is. Underneath this shed. There's also several beehives located up here in the woods. At this location. Let's loop over here because we have two farms located along this edge of the map. This is where we loaded in for the first time. And something that I found interesting on this map, we have wild horses just kind of roaming around. On the PDA, there's going to be an icon for a horse pasture. But it's not actually there. It's on unbuyable land. I think it's there simply in order to get these wandering wild horses. So here we have another cow farm. With an aged cheese factory. And we saw this on the other map as well. We have our pallet spawn point there. We do have a small silage bunker located right here. Our cow pasture where we have our water in our food triggers. Our cow drop off point. We have 25 cows in here of a total of 100. And then we have our manure pickup point there. Now this farm, we can sell the cow pasture. The triggers go away. Obviously the cows go away, but this shed here and this part of the cow area, it's going to remain. That's one of the few things that actually sticks around at some of these farms. To the north of town, we're going to have the small pig farm. That's going to be located right here. So we have our farmhouse. We have a small shed. And then we have our pig area. So we have food. We have our water. Electric fence. Six of 43 pigs available here. Now let's run to the south where we have large field 52 that runs maybe a third of the way across the bottom of the map. And that is one large cow pasture. And it's also, as I mentioned, a floodable field. 
But before we get to that, we have another farm located right here. So we have our farmhouse, we have a silo complex, and we have another large shed. Here we have that large cow pasture, field 52. And I believe it is cow pasture 53. So 100 cows in total, of which we have 22. And we have our food, we have our water, we have our milk, and then we have our trigger to flood or unflood this entire area as well. So you see now we have basically now flooded the entirety of this cow pasture. So if we sell the cows, then we can use this as a flooded field for rice, should we so desire. All right, let's make our way across the bottom of the map. Overall, most of the map, since it's gonna be floodable, is gonna be relatively flat. Can't really flood a field if it's on a hillside after all. Kind of an old abandoned cow pasture here. Made our way to the north because guess what? Here we have another arable farm. We have our farm silo building. We have our farm house. We've got a ramp there. We've got our scales that I mentioned. To the north of that, we have another farm. So we have our farmhouse. Then we move in here, we have our farm silo building. Some more equipment storage sheds. Floodable fields associated with that farm. Continuing now to the northeast, yet another farm. Complete with silo farmhouse and here we have sheep so we have our water trough we have our food trough we have our wool spawn point and we're going to be able to store a total of seven no 47 sheep not 74 47 and we have 15 sheep already available now I don't miss out on this farm it's sunk down into the ground because the field around it is kind of sloped down so we have another farm silo and we have our farm house and a little shed in behind the farmhouse all of that can be sold continue along the road here that's just north of center we have guess what yet another farm lots of farm options here i mean this map would be kind of interesting in multiplayer since we do have so many of these different farm areas farm silo farm house we'll just make our way to the north a little bit because guess what we're going to run into that's right another farm so we have another farm house and a little shed Continue to make our way north and a little bit to the west. And we're going to come across another farm area. We have a bale shed and a farmhouse there. We have a gas station. This is going to be a deco chicken farm, but it is going to be a selling station. We have our dealership. But what we're really over here for is this farmhouse. So we have our farmhouse there. We've got a couple sheds. This one has a workshop trigger as well. Then inside we have our farm silo building with our dump and fill pipe. And that should be most of, if not all of the farms that are available here on this map. While we make our way back down to the main farm where we're gonna to wanna to start our arable tour for cell points and productions, let's talk about some of our scoring. 
with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such. We have six productions built into this map. We have a sawmill, a sugar factory, a grain mill, a rice packaging factory, a rice factory, and aged cheese, which we've already seen. So we're going to give the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such. With respect to the ability to sell all of our basing crops, animal outputs, and productions. We're also going to give the map a full point there as well. Because we do have the ability to sell all of our basing crops. All of our premium and platinum productions. As well as base game productions. And we do not take off any points because we can't sell lime or stones. But that is something to be aware on this map. And then while we're here at our starting farm... As I mentioned, we can sell pretty much all the sheds, all the buildings, all the deco objects at all of the farms with some minor exceptions. But quite frankly, those minor exceptions aren't really worth taking any points off for. So we're going to give the map a full point there as well. Now, let's go and talk about productions. On this map, we have rice packaging. And this might be the first time I've noticed a rice packaging production. It's not saying it's been in the mod hub for a long time, but it's just the first time I've seen it. It's going to accept white rice and it's going to make packaged rice. And it's in the same building as our rice factory. And the rice factory is going to take rice and it's going to make white rice and rice husk. Then we have sown rice. And sown rice is also going to be able to make white rice and rice husk. We also have on the map aged cheese, which is going to take milk and make aged cheese. Standard sawmill. And then we have a fairly standard sugar factory as well. And then a fairly standard grain mill here as well. Now let's go west from the starting farm over here to kind of the town area to the west of that also west of the cow and bee farm and what we're going to come to here I believe this is going to be our grain mill no it's going to be our sugar factory so we have our dump point for our sugar cane we have our interactive icon there and then we're going to have our pallet spawn point located right there just up from that here we have our grain mill so we have our dump point we have our interactive icon there and then we have our pallet spawn point there for our flower across the street we've got a sell point here at this grocery store or convenience area We've got the cow farm here in town. Here we have a bale and sell point for cotton and wool. This is where we started out at. Across the street from that. We're going to have one of our main grain sell points. Store the southern lands. And then we have the pig farm that we've already talked about there. To make our way up here to the north. This is where we're going to find our animal dealer. well as our hay and straw bale sell point right there our animal dealer is going to be located right here we'll make our way now across the northern edge of the map we've already been here we had then the small arable farm we had the gas station and a little workshop trigger although it is flagged as a dealer trigger so you're going to be able to buy sell trade repaint and repair 
Now that trigger does extend out here a little bit. It would be nice to have seen the corner markers located there. As I mentioned earlier, this is a Deco chicken farm. This is not where we can buy chickens or anything, but it is going to be a sell point. Then we have our vehicle dealer. And here at our Jan vehicle dealer, we're going to be able to buy our machinery. And our machinery is going to come out here at the front of the fuel yard. Pretty large area for our machinery to spawn and also a fairly large area for us to get out of. Now something I want to check out, that is, can we hook up to this stuff? We can indeed. So these deco tankers here, because if you look on the PDA, they show up as usable trailer icons. We also have a usable truck over here, or what looks like a usable truck as well. So these are not just deco things, these are fully usable. as well as this man truck and trailer, and of course the Jans on top of the man truck and trailer. We have our dealer trigger here as well, and it does have corner markers. We might as well drive the road here a little bit. This is going to be our rice packaging and rice factory. So our rice factory is going to have a dump point inside the shed here. So this is where we're going to bring our raw rice. Okay. And then once we process that raw rice, it's not marked here. But this is going to be a trigger, I believe, to output the processed rice. We're going to output our processed rice and then bring it over and dump it into here. This is going to be our rice packaging input. And we're going to come around the side here. And we have two interactive icons. That's for our rice factory. And this is for our rice packaging. And then we're going to have our pallets of packaged rice come out there. So two productions in one building. And now we'll make our way all the way across the northern side of the map. With respect to buildings where perfectly are using the new texturing technique. We're going to give the map a half a point. And the reason we're going to do that is because... About half of the buildings on the map are, in my opinion, using the new texturing technique, and the other half are not. We have our sawmill, so we have our wood dump point, we have our interactive icon, we have our wood cell point as well, and then we have our pallet spawn point. And that, folks, is going to be, I believe, all of the main cell points or maybe another cell point or two that's kind of hidden here as if it is a farm silo but then again i don't think there are we do need to check though and i want to show off some things here with respect to our ground textures we've got a lot of different ground textures available to us on this map we also, just like the other map that we took a look at just a little bit ago, have these custom trees. So we have the um, few brachero trees. We have our queen palm trees. We have a just general volume tree. It's got lots of volume to it. We have our, um, act, yeah, we've got that tree with kind of palms on the top. Oak trees, stone pine trees, Calypto trees of various various growth stages. 
We also have several paintable plants. We have our grass that we've seen on other maps. We have conifer, daylily, daisies, yellow daisies, bluebells, edelweiss, apera. That one we had, see we've got a lot of these, like I said, that we had on the other South American map, which really makes me kind of feel that there was a, a group of friends that got together and said, hey, let's have a challenge. Let's see who can make the best South American map. And we're going to do certain constraints, like we got to use these various plants. Maybe we have to have a singular starting map that had all of this stuff already pre-placed. We have some custom animal pins that are a part of this map. And we have then some productions. We have a placeable age cheese factory that we can put down. And that is pretty much going to wrap it up. We have a ton of placeable buildings that are part of the required mods here as well. We've got a couple Southern sheds, Southern Brazilian warehouses, wooden sheds, and etc. So our last scoring metric is going to be trigger interactive areas being clearly marked. We're going to take a quarter of a point off there because we've had a few areas where, well, they weren't necessarily so clearly marked, like that dealer trigger at the gas station. So I'd love to know what your all's thoughts are, once again, down in the comments below with respect to this map. And maybe just for fun, compare and contrast to the other South America map, which we recently published a video on. And until next time, happy farming.